Okay, guys, so uh, this one, logical circuit, uh, we are looking at this expression here. I'm not entirely sure why in this place it's using the word and instead of using the symbol for and. Uh, quick recap, guys, quick recap. We've got and or exclusive or not. And, what's the symbol for and? Up to non B. Yeah. It's like an N but without the curve and then made it sharp. Yes, that's right, <laughs> it's more pointy. And or is this, you can remember this as versus, or you remember and is like, it looks a bit like an A. Well, as I was saying, exclusive or is uh, that one there. Uh, the not symbol is, I'm not sure how to describe it. It looks like that. It looks like a line with a thing at the end, I guess. That's not very suspicious. Now, if you remember, my tip for drawing the logical circuit is you work from inside the bracket outwards. So... Um, I think the first thing I'll do is I'm going to give it the inputs. So what, how many inputs we got? So let's put them in. Like I said, the first thing I do is look inside the bracket. That, A, what's that symbol then? Or. or. So A or B. Uh, so I will do A. So there we've got, we've got the OR gate in there. The other thing we need to represent on this one, so I'm working from inside the bracket, says C, and what's that symbol? AND. So I need to draw the AND gate. And now the next thing is we need to do the NOT that's connected to it, which is that symbol there. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm gonna do the AND gate in here. That's look really, really good. And then we've got a knot at the end here. And a knot on the other one. And then they need to join together into a... AND. 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 That's it, bro. Uh, obviously, we also need to end it by putting a Q at the end, as Michael and Finn pointed out. We're trying to do the, what's the name of this? It's a truth table. And we're gonna look at this, that gate, what kind of a gate is it? X. It's an exclusive or. So that's for S. Now exclusive or, the uh, table, for the truth table for exclusive or on its own, is A and B, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. And then the output, if it's zero, zero on exclusive or, what's the output? Zero, zero, zero one, 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 zero. Is it one, one? Zero. So that's the one difference, isn't it, with exclusive or? It exclusively has to be or. Now, I wonder if that's where the name came from. Anyway, we're looking down here, and A is zero, and B is zero, and therefore the output is? Zero, zero. Now, so it's zero, zero and zero is gonna be? Zero and one is gonna be? <coughs> or zero and one? One and zero? One and zero? One and one? One and one. Zero. Beautiful. So this is a not gate. What a not gate, not gate does, if it takes in a one, it becomes a? Zero. Takes in a zero. One. So it just flips it over. So on R, we've got C is a zero. One. One. Zero. Yes. And now, we're in our final gate here. As discussed, this is another example of a? XOR. But now the XOR, the input is S and, and R. R. So S and R is one. One. So therefore, it's one. Zero and zero. zero. One and one. Zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. One here clearly is the most challenging of the questions I think available, especially in real time. And you could definitely get a question that's like this, where it's gonna ask you to process it. So let's just explore how we might wanna do it. Let's talk about how we're gonna approach a question like this. I think first of all, it's, it's sensible to think about the inputs, S1, S2, and S3. So do you know what I'm gonna do just to start us off? I'm literally just gonna plug S1, S2, and S3 as my separate inputs. And now, remember, guys, remember we haven't got an infinite number of building blocks. We have not gates, exclusive all gates, all gates, and AND gates. So it's not like an infinite number of things to pick from. We can probably work backwards. So it says in here, a set of three sensors, these three here, detects whether the pollution it is outputting from an incinerator exceeds safe limits. Okay. In which case the incinerator shut down. An alarm, A, which is our output, sounds if at least two of the three sensors. If there's one sensor, it's just a small amount of pollution and only some people die, it's all good. Yeah. So we need, so if S1 and S2 is going off, what happens? Triggers. S1, S3, it goes off. S2, S3, it goes off. If it's S1 and S2 and S3, it goes off. If just S1 and the rest, yeah, it's off, isn't it? So on, off, and off would be off. Yes, yes. I think I could express that simpler, couldn't I? Now, now, 
realistically, we need these to come together. So I think we can instantly get rid of not, because not's going to have one input, and I don't see it's going to help in this context. So I think we're probably narrowing down these links to either an AND gate or an OR gate or an exclusive OR gate. Agree? Yes. How many inputs can an AND and an OR or an exclusive OR have? Two. two. So we're going to need to have these two go into one, these two to go into one, but also we're also going to need S1 and S3 for the third one. Yes? yes. And the question is going to be, do we use an OR gate? Now let's think it through. With an OR gate, what's going to happen is, if any of these are on, it will trigger it as being on. That's going to be your downside of it. An AND gate is only going to be true if, what, if, if both of these are on, so one of every two. And what are we looking for? That, that one. We are looking for that. I guess what I'm, like, it's easy for me to say right now, but I think I'm trying to, create, trying to recreate to some degree the thinking processes, right? Realistically, that's our best bet. Now, I might make a mistake here, and if I do, I can work backwards on it. But I'm saying that what's most likely here is we're going to have three AND gates. So let me just draw those terribly. What's the one I've got missing? So we're going to have this. It's like Mario. OK, now, there's my three inputs. Uh, let's think it through now. Uh, can this go to an output? Well, clearly it can't, because we need to bring these down again. But what's going to be the combine? It's either going to go into an AND gate or an OR gate or an exclusive OR gate. If, yes, I agree with you, but like, you know, S1 and S2, if they're both on, then this would be a 1 coming out. But that would be a 0, and that would be a 0. So if that's 1 and that's 0, but we want it to be 1, clearly an OR gate's going to be what we want to do for it. So we want how many OR gates? I've just made a mistake. I've, Mm, let me think. Will that work? It works with just But then you need to, but then you it would work and then you just have to go into another OR gate again. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. Point. Okay. So you are gonna find that with logical circuits, aren't you, that there's not just one solution. Yeah. And potentially what I've done well, it's not even potentially, I've definitely made a slightly less efficient one, but ultimately does it answer the question? Yes. And in that case that'll be fine. So the question was do it most efficiently. Yeah, potentially, yeah, you probably have stuffed yourself there a bit. If you have another OR gate, if you have three, there's not going to be enough boxes in the bottom part of the question. I suppose that's the giveaway, yeah. 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 All right. Oh, no. Work. This question doesn't make any sense. You do three as well. Do you know, but I was about... No, no. Don't you worry. I really was about to put the third one in. Just because I was brainstorming it earlier, that was the first thing that came to my mind. So I just wrote it down as soon as it worked. What should you put at the end here? A. 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 